Hi, I'm Helen and today I'm here at the National Waterways Museum in Ellesmere Port. It's cared for by Canal and River Trust who look after 2,000 miles of canals and rivers as well as fantastic museums like this one. I'm going to be looking at some traditional canal folk art and discovering how it was inspired by the Victorians' love of nature. Nearly 200 years ago, families lived and worked on boats like this. Narrow boats were the lorries of the past, carrying goods around the country and to ports like Liverpool for export. This part of the boat is the cabin where the family would live. As they travelled along the canals, they would take inspiration from the natural world around them. They used their unique artistic style to make their boats stand out, to attract more work and to make the cabins beautiful homes. This type of painting is called Roses and Castles. It was inspired by the Victorians' love of nature and the flowers that boaters saw on their travels. Painters had to work quickly to get boats and objects painted. Boats were never in one place for long. The art of crochet is a way of creating textiles and clothing from wool and yarn. Today, it is also used to create beautiful pieces of art like this canal-inspired wall hanging. Jen is using a special hook to interlock loops of wool. She's creating a granny square. When you put lots of these together, you can create anything. Here is a horse which has been created entirely from crocheted granny squares. Amazing! So, how can we create our own nature-inspired art? Stop and take notice. Look around you and you will see all kinds of nature. Even in places where there are lots of buildings, you'll be surprised at what is living and growing all around you. Next, look at the colours. The greens of summer are giving way to the oranges, yellows and browns of autumn. Look at the plants themselves. The shape of the branches, the leaves on the ground, grasses, rose hips and the thorns of fruit bushes protecting the last of the season's fruit. Now find yourself some sticks. Make them into a frame and spot a view you'd like to draw. Hold the frame at arm's length in front of your eyes. This will be your picture. You could try sketching what you see. Maybe you can go for a walk and create a series of sketches that show your walk. You could collect some natural materials and make a collage of your scene when you get home. Now it's your turn. 